Whenever you want to add or subtract polynomials, the rule is simply just to combine like terms. So if you look in example 1, 3a squared, you're looking for anything else that has an a squared in it to combine, and there isn't anything. And nothing also combines with the 5a. The only things that combine are the positive 8 and the negative 1. So 3a squared plus 5a, and then when you combine, you get plus 7. So that's the sum of those two. Same thing for example b, you want to combine like terms. So negative x squared will combine with 3x squared. 5x will combine with negative 8x. And positive 4 combines with positive 9. So you get 2x squared minus 3x plus 13. There's a little trick when you have subtraction. It's just like integers. When you want to subtract, you have to add the opposite. So hopefully you remember that from integers. Um, so in example two, we're subtracting. We have to keep the first one the same. We change that minus sign to a plus. And then the second polynomial changes all of its signs. So that 2y squared turns negative the 5y turns positive, and the 3 turns positive. You must change a sign of every term. So now when you combine, you'll end up getting 1, negative 1y squared plus 9y plus 5. If you wanted instead to write negative y squared, you could have done that and omitted the 1. Um, it doesn't matter whichever pre whichever you prefer. Let's see what combines uh, after we change the signs in example B. So first I'll rewrite the first polynomial. I'll change the minus to a plus. And then the second polynomial changes all of its signs. And now we combine and you get 3x squared Nothing combines with the 4x, so you just bring it down, and then you have plus 5. Why don't you try example 3 on your own? The correct answer is letter C. Hopefully you got that. All right, last one. Let's check out example 4. A penny is thrown straight down from a height of 200 feet. So you see there's a person throwing down a penny. At the same time, a paintbrush falls from a height of 100 feet. So there's that 100-foot paintbrush. The polynomials represent the heights in feet of the objects after t seconds. Part A, write a polynomial that represents the distance between the penny and the paintbrush after t seconds. So this is a very bizarre question, but we're just going to go with it. I don't know who's throwing pennies and paintbrushes on the ground. That's very dangerous, uh, but let's do it anyway. So if I'm looking for the distance between the penny and the paintbrush, I'm going to find the difference between their expressions. So negative 16t squared minus 40t plus 200 minus negative 16 t squared plus 100. And I'm putting the polynomials in parentheses. And the reason that I do that is so that way, if I point to a specific term, I know which polynomial it went to. It's not going to impact necessarily your subtraction. It might over here. Um, but you should put polynomials in parentheses because parentheses are grouping symbols, and grouping symbols are needed when you have uh, things that are grouped together. So up in example two, I was rewriting the second polynomial. I was rewriting actually all of them, but you don't really have to do that. You can keep, just like integers, you can keep the first polynomial the same. Then you can change the plus to a minus, I'm sorry, the minus to a plus right here, and then everything changes sign in the parentheses. So that 16 turns positive, and that 100 turns negative. It's just a shortcut way of doing it. You might have done it in seventh grade or when you were first learning how to add integers. You maybe didn't rewrite it. 
So I'm going to combine terms. Well, this negative 16t squared actually cancels out with this positive 16t squared. And so I just have negative 40t because nobody combines with that. And then 200 and negative 100 cancel out, or they don't cancel, but you get plus 100. So that would be the expression that represents the distance. Then we need to go to example B. They're asking you the distance at a particular time. Well, I have an expression that represents the distance at any given moment in time. So I can plug in 2 into the t value, and I can get the value of the distance in real life after 2 seconds. So that would be negative 80 plus 100. So I'm talking 20, and if you go back to the question, it is 20 feet. If you have any questions other than why people are throwing pennies and paintbrushes out of windows, write them down and ask me when you come to class.